So today I'm talking about a P0155 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a P0155 code? Well, it's an oxygen sensor heater circuit malfunction bank two sensor one. And what does this mean? Well, there's what's called oxygen sensors and they're down on the exhaust and they do two things. And the first thing they do is they monitor the catalytic converter. And then the second thing they do is they monitor how much oxygen was burnt off during combustion. And the computer uses this information to adjust the air fuel ratio mixture that's going into the cylinders. But when you get a P0155 code, the computer seeing some kind of problem with one of these sensors, mainly the bank two sensor one O2 sensor. And so it's going to have to be troubleshooted to know why. And if you have a V6 or V8 engine, the engine's going to have two banks. Bank one is always the side of the engine with the number one cylinder. So if you Google your cylinder location on your particular engine, since there is differences, that'll be the bank one side. And the opposite of that is going to be bank two. If you have a four cylinder engine, then it wouldn't matter because you only have one bank. And so what would be some possible causes of a P0155 code? Well, the first thing that could cause this is a bad O2 sensor, mainly that bank two sensor one oxygen sensor which is going to be the first sensor going down on the bank two side. It'll be located right before the catalytic converter. It's also called the upstream O2 sensor. And these O2 sensors have two parts built into them. They're going to have the part that monitors how much oxygen was burnt off, but they also have heater elements built into them that basically help them heat up quicker. So the whole system could go into what's called a closed loop faster. When the engine goes into what's called the closed loop, the computer is basically adjusting the air fuel ratio mixture with the information directly from the O2 sensor. If it's not getting information from that O2 sensor, then it's operating in what's called an open loop, which basically means the computer is guessing and using other sensors to adjust the air fuel ratio mixture. When the engine first starts up, it's operating in what's called an open loop until that sensor warms up, which would take much longer without the heater elements built into them. So those heater elements help it go into this closed loop much faster. And the computer is seeing some kind of problem with that heater element. The heater element part of those O2 sensors is kind of like a light bulb. If it burns out, it just doesn't work no more. Although you can look up what the rated ohms are for that heater element. Usually when they go bad, they just burn out. So you can use a multimeter and check to see if it's open using ohms to check it. Basically, you check to see what the resistance is on that heater element. And if it's open, you know it's bad. When you look at the back of the heater element, it's very common that the same two color wires are for the heater element and then the mismatch wires are for the oxygen sensor side of it. So if you find the same two colored wires, that's usually for the heater element and then the mismatch wires are going to be for the oxygen sensor side. Of course, it is a good idea to get a diagram for your specific vehicle to know for sure what's going on with the wiring, but that is very common. But the first thing that could cause this is a bad bank two sensor one O2 sensor. And so the first thing to do, if possible, is go and test it. The next thing that could cause this issue is the wiring going to the sensor. If there's anything wrong with the wiring, like an open, a short, there's a bad connection inside of there somewhere, then that's going to cause problems. And so if you go through and you test that sensor and it tests good, then the next thing to do is go and check the wiring. You will need to get a wiring diagram or schematics for your particular vehicle since there is differences on what's going on with the wires and different things like this. It is very common for 12 volts to be going to that heater element. And so you can use a multimeter to go check to see if that wiring is getting voltage back to the heater element. And if it's not, then you know you got some kind of issue. And one thing to keep in mind with these is that these can be on a fuse and sometimes a relay. It can really vary and sometimes it can be kind of confusing on which fuse it might be or what's going on with it. So you might have to go and do some research on your particular vehicle to see what is going on with it. But if you're not getting no voltage back there, keep in mind these can be on a fuse and sometimes a relay. Well, for example, right here, you have AF heater. That's a fuse for that heater element. And over here, you have AF heater. That's going to be the relay for that heater element. So just keep in mind that it can vary, but these can be on a fuse. But the next thing that could cause this is some kind of wiring issue. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the P0155 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me. I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you. Please click like. Please click subscribe. And have a good day.